I'd forgive you for thinking that Spider Math is about to just video himself having a rather fetching beverage, but you might notice the top of the can's got a bit mouldy. So what is this? Well, it's a solar can. It's not a beverage at all. It's a long exposure camera that uh, has been stuck to the top of a drain pipe just underneath my roof for an entire year. Solar can day is on the sol solstice. And last solar can day in 2020, because we had nothing better to do, I've cable tied it to the downpipe. It's got a very small little uh, pinhole camera. You can just see the pinhole there. But uh, I'm going to open it and have a look and see whether it's tracked the sun. If you don't mind, I'm going to turn the lights off for this. That's it. So you can just about see this now. So I don't really want to uh, ruin it by giving too much light on it but obviously it's quite a slow film so they say you should just uh, open it with a can opener so let's see obviously I do have some lights in the room all right then inside there should be a piece of film And get it out without cutting my fingers. So that film has been live for a year. So you can just about see the pattern that it's made there. So what I have to do is take a picture of this on the scanner and uh, then invert it. Now I've just got a bit of a problem with the scanner though. I've not used my scanner for, well, since at least last solar can day. And uh, there's a problem and it doesn't want to work on the Mac. So I'm going to uh, install it on a Windows PC I've got and try and scan it from there. Unfortunately, that means I can't screen record. So uh, let's see, just see how it goes. Well, what a knockabout bundle of fun that was. That was not easy. I had to do it on the uh, Windows machine and I've not used Windows for a long time. I only use my Windows box here for um, doing my laser cutter. So let's bring in one of these pictures then. I mean, I've got several here. I bought them all in as TIFF. May as well. Yeah, well, let's bring that one in. All right, so uh, image. Let's rotate it. So that's basically the picture. Let's go a bit bigger. I'm just going to crop this because it's uh, put a book behind it to make sure it was flat, completely flat. And then you think you can just see a bit of the book. Definitely make some of the exposure there. See some of the houses. So hopefully all I have to do is, if I recall, image and invert. Oh, right. Oh, can you see that? That's uh, definitely improved. So that, that um, is the sun in the sky and it's all little bits of uh, dots and whatever is when the clouds are there. So that's quite incredible. That's a whole year worth of the sun. How beautiful is that? I'm sure I must be able to uh, make it slightly nicer. It's opening camera raw. You can see um, the paper is a little bit warped there. Not a lot I can do about that. It's just going to be a case of uh, fiddling about with this until I get something that's acceptable. Oh, there you go. Bring the whites up. Anyway, I'm going to run out of battery on my Mac now after all that messing about. So um, at the end of this video, I'll just leave uh, this picture when I've processed it. But that's the solar can. Really cool little long exposure camera. <laughs>